Also tonight, Hurricane Hunters are running missions out of Niagara Falls this week. Three Air Force Reserve teams from Mississippi arrived at the Niagara Falls Air Reserve Station over the weekend. Their mission? To fly into the eye of Hermine and gather information that computers can't. Here's 7 Eyewitness News reporter Paolo Suro. This is not just an ordinary aircraft. This WC-130J is a hurricane chaser, and these people are hurricane hunters. Uh, we're out there flying there to see exactly where the center of that storm is. Lieutenant Lisa Froelich is returning from a 9.2-hour mission from inside post-tropical Cyclone Hermine. You'll see a lot of the, uh, the winds on the surface. You'll see the turbulent waters that are below. Um, and sometimes you will feel that turbulence as you're going through it. Um, and sometimes it can be really calm. Hurricane hunters fly to collect data that satellites cannot. Um, the drop zone that we release, um, so that collects a bunch of information as it falls. And uh, that's doing winds, pressure, temperature. And all that information is ingested into the models. And from there, they can actually determine where this uh, storm is going to go a lot more accurately. Lieutenant Froelich says they usually bring three aircrafts and 60 to 70 people. With them. This time they took senior airman Joshua Williams, who's a video broadcaster for the Niagara Falls Air Reserve Station. It's a long flight. Uh, I, if you can imagine going in a car ride for 8 to 12 hours, that's a long car ride. They're doing this at various altitudes under stressors, turbulence, um, as well as knowing the importance of their missions. It was his first time riding along with the Hurricane Hunters. You realize the power um, of Mother Nature when you look down to the ocean floor and you see the white caps and the turbulent turbulent waves forming. They expect to stay at Niagara Falls until Thursday and fly the aircrafts every six hours. In Niagara Falls, Paula Suro, 7 Eyewitness News.